Let's see how to find the Laplace transform of this um, simple function between the values of t being between 0 and 2. It's just this curve. Then after t takes on a value of 2, the function just has a value of 6, giving us the horizontal line. So between the values of t of 0 and 2, it's just part of a parabola, f of t equals t squared. Then after t is greater than 2, it just simply has the value of 6, giving us this horizontal line. So it's a real simple function. What would be the Laplace transform of this function? Before we can do that, we have to be able to write the function out. And we have it here. We're saying u of t times t squared. Multiplying t squared by u of t gives us only the positive part of the parabola. The part that would be over here on the negative axis is wiped out, of course, because this is equal to 1 when t is 0 or greater than 0. If t is less than 0, then this is 0. So this obliterates the left part of the parabola. Now what we want to do, though, is have the parabola be obliterated once t reaches the value of 2. So it's a value of t squared. We want to subtract t squared once t has a value of 2. So we have minus u of t minus 2 times t squared. Now, when t is less than 2 over here, this is 0. So f of t is just t squared. When t takes on the value of 2, this is now 1. So we have t squared minus t squared. So we just get this curve segment here of a parabola. We want to do something else, though, when t takes on the value of 2. Now we want the function to take on the value of 6. So we would have plus u of t minus 2 times 6. So when we reach the value where t equals 2, two things happen. The parabola is now extinguished, so it just gives us this curve segment. Then the uh, function just simply takes on the value of 6, giving us the horizontal line. So for our simple graph, this is the equation of it. We want to find the Laplace transform of this step function. And in earlier videos in our series dealing with the unit step function, we derived this formula. But as we'll see in a moment, this is not set up yet where we can apply our standard formula that we um, derived earlier. So let's see what we had to do to make this compatible with our formula. Oh, and here we probably should mention that uh, the playlist for all of the videos is at the website, digital-university.org. OK, so here's our problem. We have this function. We want to find its Laplace transform. Now, actually, this and this are OK. Here we have u of t times t squared. So c is 0 here. It's just u of t. So then it would just be f of t, which is t squared. So that's fine. Here we have u of t minus 2 just multiplied by some constant. So that's all right. But here we have u of t minus 2 times t squared. But to apply the formula, it has to be u of t minus c, not times f of t, but f of t being shifted. So the c here and the c here are the same. So we have to think, how can we write t squared so it has t minus 2 squared. 
So we have this, t squared. If we said, well, this would equal t minus 2 squared, then if we multiply this out, we would have t squared minus 4t. We want to cancel that out, so we'd say plus 4 times t. Then we'd have plus 4. We want to get rid of that, so we'd have minus 4. So this expression is t squared. Now here we have 4 times t, but again we want to have, write it in terms of t minus 2. So we have t, that would equal t minus 2 plus 2. And if we have 4 times t, that will equal 4 times t minus 2 plus 8. So t squared we can write like this. t minus 2 squared plus 4t which is this plus 4 times t minus 2 plus 8 minus 4. So t squared, we can rewrite it like this. Obviously, this is an awkward way just to express t squared, but we have to do that because we have u of t minus 2. So the function that it's going to be multiplied by has to be a function of t minus 2, unless it's just a constant here, in order to use our formula, u of t minus c, f of t minus c. Here we have u of t minus 2. This has to be f of t minus 2, which we now have. So that means that for t squared up here, we have to substitute this. So what we're going to do now is erase this stuff and rewrite our function substituting this in here for t squared. So let's just take a moment and do that. So the function is u of t times t squared. And for here, it's t minus 0, so we can just have f of t, so these are compatible, minus u of t minus 2 times t squared. We rewrote t squared. It is t minus 2 squared. Then we had plus 4 times t minus 2 plus 4. And then we have this, plus u of t minus 2. And this is just times a constant 6, so this is OK. So there is our function re-expressed with t squared like this. Let's just multiply out now. We have u of t times t squared minus u of t minus 2 times t minus 2 squared then we will have this will be minus minus 4 u of t minus 2 times t minus 2.
then here we will have minus 4 times u of t minus 2. Here we have plus 6 times u of t minus 2. So this minus this, that will be plus 2. So you have u of t minus 2 times the constant plus 2. So this was just minus 4 of u t minus 2 plus 6. 6 minus 4 is 2, so we have 2 times u of t minus 2. So now our function should be compatible with our formula. So let's see now if we can find this Laplace transform. So here we're finding, taking the Laplace transform of t squared, and that will be, hopefully you remember how to do that now, that is be 2 factorial, or just 2, over s cubed. Remember, if the function is t to the n, it's the, oops, for this, the Laplace transform is 2 over s cubed. Remember, if we have a, a, a variable raised to some exponent, it's the Laplace transform, it's the Laplace transform is this factorial divided by s to the n plus 1. In this case, n is 2. 2 factorial is just 2. So this gives us 2 over s cubed. Now here, minus u of t minus 2. Now we go back to our formula. This accounts for this part of the formula e to the minus cs, in this case c is 2. So we're going to have minus e to the minus 2s. Now we're taking the Laplace transform of, now this is t minus 2, but remember the formula, here we have f of t minus c, in this case uh, c is 2, we take the Laplace transform just of f of t. So we're taking the Laplace transform of t squared. And again, that's going to be 2 divided by s cubed. Now we have this term. So we have minus 4 u of t minus 2, again, that's going to give us e to the minus 2s. And that's from right here. This gives us this part of the formula. And then we don't take the Laplace transform of f of t minus c, this is the Laplace transform of f of t. So we don't take the Laplace transform of t minus 2, we're just taking the Laplace transform of t, t to the 1. So that equals 1 factorial, which is just 1, divided by s to the n plus 1. But in this case, n is 1, so it's just s 1 over s squared. The Laplace transform of t is just 1 over s squared. So here, we have s squared. And again, see the function here is t minus 2. It has to be in this shifted form. We just take the Laplace transform, not of the shifted function, just of the function itself. So we're just taking the Laplace transform of t, t to the 1. And again, remember the formula for t to the n is just n factorial over s to the n plus 1. This is just t, so it's t to the first power, n is 1, so you have 1 over s squared. And now for the last part of the formula, we have 
u of t minus 2, again, that's going to be plus, and that will give us e, again, to the minus 2s, and the Laplace transform of any constant is just 1 over s, so we have this, 2, well, we can use our formula again, t to the n is the Laplace transform is n factorial divided by s to the n plus 1. Here then we have 2. So n would be 0 in this case. 0 factorial is 1. n is 0, s, we have this 2. So it's just 2 e to the minus 2s over s. And again, the Laplace transform of any constant is just that constant divided by s. And of course, we could derive that rule easily, as we did way back in our introduction to the Laplace transform, uh, just by uh, applying the definition and taking the integral. So here then, without too much trouble, is the Laplace transform. What we had to do for our problem was just uh, some simple algebra. When we do the graph out, this was the function that described the graph, but again, we had to make our function compatible with our formula. So here we have can't put these together. Here we have our simple function, and as the Laplace transform comes out to be this expression. Okay, that's it for this video then. Hope that was helpful. Uh, in the other videos, we're going to consider not just the unit step function, but some of the basic properties of the uh, Dirac delta function, and how we can apply that to differential equations.